Hey guys, this girl got game, and we're back for our last run through a magical diary. And then that's it. Hi. Oh, that's so sad. But, but we are going to be doing Big Steve's route, so that's exciting. Cause I have no idea what this is gonna be, and I was really nervous. Cause apparently it's very hard to get his route, so I actually have a walkthrough <laughs> on the side, my little checklist. So, on my checklist, I have take all magic classes before first exam. So, why don't we do that so that we don't have to go to detention when our first exam comes up. And we'll just skip through our introductory classes as we usually do. Uh, we also need to get blue to 10 so that we can have the true sight spell. Apparently we need that in Big Steve's root. At least they say you do. I guess we'll find out. Hold on a second. Sorry, my mic was off kilter. <laughs> Let's continue skipping. I have one color of magic left that I haven't done yet, which is black up to 100. So, we're gonna be focusing on black. Uh, we need to go to the mall basically every weekend, if not to play pinball with Big Steve, to at least go to the bakery. So I'm probably not going to have much money for anything. Ah, our first event. Here we go. After dinner, I'm walking back to my room when I notice the door is already open. I peek through the gap to see who's inside. It's Ellen. She's folding up some clothing, probably putting her laundry away. Wait a minute. That's Virginia's dresser she's opening. Why is Ellen rummaging around in our roommate's stuff? I haven't made a sound. She doesn't know I'm here yet. Okay, we've done like every option in this. Let's go find Virginia. I'm going to pick some different options just to see what they do since this is our last time. I don't know what's going on here, but if Ellen is poking around in our stuff, Virginia deserves to know about it. Mm-hmm. Luckily, she's not hard to find. I can see her down at the end of the hall. I start to rush over to her, then change my mind and try to move more quietly so as not to attract too much attention, and end up doing a sort of bunny hop down the hallway, which probably attracted more attention than if I had just walked over to her like a normal person. Cutie? Shh! Come with me and don't make any noise! I grab her hand and drag her back to our doorway where I point inside. Ellen is now pulling a notebook out from under Virginia's bed. What are we looking at? She's going through your things. Why would she do that? Um... Okay, we did this, we did this. I'm pretty sure we did this last time, so we're gonna do this one. She's probably trying to steal your notes or something. Yeah, right. Ellen's smarter than both of us put together. This is silly. Hey, Ellen! Oh! Um, hi! What are you up to? I was just cleaning up in here. Oh, you're the one who's been picking up after me. Huh? I thought we had brownies or something. William never said anything about room service, but he's pretty neat normally, so he might not have noticed. Cutie here saw you opening my drawers and thought you were spying or something. Uh, it's okay. You were just looking out for me, right? Virginia puts an arm around each of our shoulders, pulling us into a sort of group hug. That's what roommates are for. So you're not mad that I moved your stuff? Why should I be? I hate cleaning. Mom always does it for me at home. When I get my own place, it'll probably turn into a scary monster cave full of junk. Unless I find some real brownies to take care of it for me. I guess it all worked out then. Phew. Virginia is too messy, and Ellen is too neat. So together, we're just right. I suppose. I'm awakened early on Saturday morning by a tap at the door, followed by a faint hissing sound. What's going on? I stumble out of bed to find that three envelopes have been pushed under the door to our room, each marked with one of our names. 
Hey, money's here. Each envelope contains $5, the weekly spending allowance for Iris Academy students. If it's our money, why can't they just give it to us all at once? I guess they don't trust us not to spend it all at once and then run out and complain. Well, that might teach people to plan ahead. This way still teaches people to plan ahead. If you want to buy anything really cool, you've got to save up. But you're missing the important part. It's Saturday, and that means a trip to the mall. Alright, time to go meet Big Steve. I didn't think you were a shopaholic. I'm not, but it's great to get out and look at something other than school for a while, isn't it? Also, they have ice cream, and penny candy, and really big cinnamon cookies, and... We get the idea. Since I've been there before, I can show you guys around. What about studying? You have plenty of time for that during the week, right, cutie? Yeah, let's go meet Big Steve. Sure, I'd love to go to the mall with you. Great. Ellen? I guess it's okay, but you ought to have a good breakfast before you look at ice cream. Yes, mother. I just gotta say, it's good to be friends with you guys again, and not have you mad at me. Students are lining up outside the school, waiting for a free seat in one of the shuttle vans that travel between here and the local shopping center. Come on, we can ride together. Wait a minute. What is it? We're still in uniform. So? Won't people stare at us because we're all wearing capes? Nah. Just act natural, it's no big deal. But it's nowhere near Halloween. Since the teachers aren't saying anything, I suppose this is what we're supposed to do. Just go with the crowd. The mall's not very lar large or very crowded. At least where I'm standing, witches and wizards easily outnumber shoppers in ordinary clothes. But no one reacts to the sight. I guess if students come here all the time, they get used to it, question mark? Okay, that place does coffee and pastries, they have fresh fruit, that one does baked potatoes, there's a gift shop, there's a cafe. Are all these stores magical? No, there's only one magic shop here. They sell wands and stuff. I'm going to get a chocolate croissant. What about you? Okay, we're going to go to the arcade. I just want to explain briefly that the reason we need to go to the pastry place the rest of the time is because, if you remember, I think it was in Donald's route, maybe? Donald or Virginia's route, the uh, bakery closed down. And apparently that affects our relationship with Big Steve. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going by my notes here. I'm going to check it off as I go. Okay, so we're going to the games arcade. There are only a few old-style video games with joysticks and buttons here. Most of the arcade is filled with racing games, dance pads, claw grabbers, things that give out tickets for prizes, and a surprisingly large collection of pinball machines. So we're gonna go play some pinball. Most arcades I've been in only contain one or two pinball machines. Even though this mall isn't very big, they've got a row of six games, and four of them are being played already. There's a big guy in Iris Academy uniform, racking up multi-balls on one end, but despite his impressive score, he keeps on scowling. I keep my distance. Aw. Bouncing shiny things around into flashing lights is fun! Yay! Get rid of my stress. That was a big guy, <laughs> Okay, check that off my list. On Sunday morning, I sleep in. There aren't any school activities today that I know of, and I haven't made plans with anyone, so there's nothing else to do. Which just makes me realize... I miss my family. I'm not used to being completely out of contact like this. There aren't even any phones in the dorm, so I can't call home. Dad promised he and Mom would write, but I haven't received anything. Maybe they were too busy on the first day, or the mail was slow. I'm sure I'll hear from them soon. No phones, no computers, no television. Hmm, it doesn't matter much during the week when I'm busy with classes, but on a day like today, it leaves me feeling restless. I think I'll go outside. It's a beautiful campus. I'm careful to stop when I want to admire something rather than keep walking and risk another collision. But while the flowers and paved walkways are nice, what I'm really looking for is something a little more open. I follow the paths away from the main buildings towards grassy fields. 
We could play games out here if we borrowed some balls from the gym. I wonder if Virginia was serious about starting the sports team. Hey, I think I see her up ahead. She's talking to someone I don't know. I hurry to catch up. Mostly girls again this year, isn't it? Yeah, both my roommates are. I pause in mid-step. What is she talking about? Me and Ellen? That could be a problem eventually. Ellen and I both had wild magic. Is that the problem? Well, maybe more of us should drop out. The other way would be more fun. Maybe for you it would. <laughs> what on earth are they talking about? Uh, this is silly. Spies never hear anything nice. I have no idea what they're discussing, and I shouldn't try to figure it out. I'll only come up with crazy stuff. I'm just gonna walk away slowly. <laughs> At the end of the week, I get the chance to organize my thoughts and my belongings, as well as review the spells I've learned so far. Okay, we'll look at our diary. Suspicious. I caught Ellen messing with Virginia's things, but it turned out she was just picking up after her. At least that's what she said. It's a little weird, isn't it? Sometimes I think I get along better with Virginia. <laughs> Sometimes. Homesick. I miss my family. I hope they'll write soon. I feel out of place here sometimes, compared to the people who were born magical. Virginia said earlier that it didn't matter who was Wild Seed and who wasn't, but I'm not sure that's true. We didn't record our meeting of Big Steve, so I guess we'll do that next week. Oh no. Not initiation. I'm just gonna fast forward. I'm sorry. Sorry, William. I am not not going anywhere near you again. I know there's a part in here where like Big Steve yells at you to get coffee for him, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't really affect our relationship with him. I don't need your help. How dare you push me down? That's it. No, I'm not doing it. What did you say? I'm not playing along. Not again. You duped me like five times. Never again. I stand up again, folding my arms over my chest and glare at him. This isn't funny. This is hazing. This is an initiation ceremony. I won't do it. It's wrong. William said if someone asks you to do something that's wrong, get a teacher. This whole thing is wrong. So I'm leaving. See ya, man. <laughs> Uh, I'm kind of angry at Damien. Feel bad for him, but I'm kind of angry. <laughs> Just don't want to. I can't. I can't do him anymore. That's all done. I stomp through the hallways and f until I find. Cutie, is something wrong? I am not taking part in freshman initiation. Did someone harm you? Oh, he will later. Not really. It's just the whole idea. I see. Well then, you won't take part. It's that simple? Of course. You always have the right to say no. And I'm proud to see a young student standing, standing up for her beliefs. Of course, the other children will not all agree with your choice. Some people who might have been your friends will now avoid you. Every choice has its cost. Maybe so. But maybe some other people will have seen me stand up for myself and be inspired to do the same. You'd best get on with your classes now, dear. Right. Thank you, Potsdam. What classes should I take this week? Okay, so we need black to 25 to pass our first exam. Even though we need to get blue to 10. But we don't need that for quite, quite a few months. So. I think we'll just do that. Okay. Looks good. Woohoo! One. Hi. When my roommates return from their classes, neither one of them wants to look me in the eye. What? Is there something on my face? Other than your nose? I can't believe you just walked out like that. Trust me, you guys would not have liked where that was going. <laughs> Well, I did. So what? 
William worked hard to organize this week, you know. So what? I wasn't going to let Damien treat me like that. Not again. Wait, your senior was Damien? Huh? Right, Damien. Blue guy, evil, demon, you know? Ha! Huh. Okay, I completely forgive you for messing up William's thing. Why is that? Because Damien's a horrible, evil demon and he deserves to be humiliated. He'll probably never speak to you again, and good riddance. Too bad you have to miss out on the rest of initiation just because of that jerk, though. If you say so. <laughs> I'm gonna get smarter, though. So there's that. My senior is Baltazar Brundrick. He likes plants. He really likes plants. I think he's got moss growing on him. Mine is William. Um... That's nice. Anyway, we may be busy a lot this week. Truth. But since you won't be, you'll have plenty of time to get ahead in classes. Maybe. We'll see. One can hope. <laughs> Ay. One. I'm never gonna get to 25 at this rate. <sighs> oh. Oh, yay. I love this part. Go, Luke. All of a sudden, in the middle of class, a boy stands up, climbs onto his chair, and begins to speak. Twas Brillig and the slithy toves to gyre and gimble in the wade. Mr. Pfeiffer? How mimsy were the burrow groves and the momraths outgrabe. Mr. Pfeiffer, that will be enough, thank you. You fulfilled your task. Here, let me help you down. Luke looks confused and takes the professor's hand to hop to the ground and sit back in his seat. My dear starlings, seniors do not override professors, and initiation does not override school rules. If someone orders you to do something in class, ignore them. The excuse of initiation will not get you out of being punished. So I get detention now? Oh no, I love that poem. You'll just have to finish reciting it for me after class. <laughs> ah, one again. Darn it. What the heck is happening? I'm cursed. Oh, thank goodness. The curse of the demon has been, <laughs> been raised. Uh. Inspection. Detects weak points and hidden details within one target object. Inscription. Write or remove words from a target object. Alright, after all those ones, we learned two spells in one day. Uh, it's not until... Uh, bleh. Oh dear. Let's try that again, shall we? It's not until after I wake up on Friday morning that I realize something. Something very important which should have occurred to me before now. Virginia! Psst! Virginia! Wake up! What? It's Friday the 13th! So? Um... Are there any special rituals we need to do, or not to do, to protect us from magical bad luck? Oh, No, Frada the 13th is good luck when you're a witch. Oh. So it's a good omen that our initiation finishes today. Now let me finish sleeping. She pulls the covers over her head. Thanks, Virginia. Have a good sleep. And the curse is back. That's a shame. Hello? Is anybody there? Seems like the campus is half empty this afternoon. All the seniors are gone. All the freshmen are gone. All except for me. I don't even know what I'm missing. Is something horrible happening that I should have tried to stop? Or are they all having fun without me? Oh well, at least I have the room to myself. Since there's nobody around to bother me, I can be as loud and as silly as I want and not have to worry about being interrupted. That makes studying much less stressful. And I need that smart, because I'm not going to be spending many weekends uh, studying. <sighs> okay. On Saturday morning, I wake up to find envelopes under the door again. Our allowances and one extra. My parents finally wrote to me. I open up the envelope intending to skim through it quickly, but it turns out there's not much to skim through. They send their love and hope I'm having fun at 
boarding school. That's it. No mention of what they've been doing. No questions about any friends I've made. Not even any questions about magic. How can they not ask about magic? Before I got here, I had no idea what was possible. There was only that brief moment of magic back when I was 13, before the officials came to turn off the power and give me the choice. For three years, I've had to wait and wonder. And now I'm finally starting to discover this entire world of possibilities. And they don't even ask? Maybe they don't want to bother me in case I'm busy, or they figure I'll tell them what I want to tell them? I still haven't written. I'm so bad. I will write them a letter. Tomorrow. Really. But for today, I have to decide whether or not to go out. And according to my notes, yes we do. We actually get to talk to Big Steve. Oh no. I might have messed this up. Hold on. I think I needed to do initiation. Um, play pinball? I make my way over to the row of pinball machines. Okay, no. Phew! Phew, okay, heart attack over. <laughs> I notice Big Steve, a senior from Toad Hall, is already playing. He looks pretty into it, too. Let's talk to him. I wait for a while, because I don't want to disrupt his concentration by talking in the middle of a game. But he keeps racking up more free balls. Is he ever going to stop? Then, at last, for no reason I can see, he takes his hands off the controls and allows the balls to sink on their own. Okay. Why'd you stop? I'm tired of this one. He moves over to stand in front of another machine. I talk quickly before he can get a new game started. I know that I... I think I used the same voice for him and Luke and Logan, but... I actually did his voice first before I did their voices. So it's just gonna stay that way. Because... yeah. Reasons. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. You're really good at that, you know? Yeah. You must play an awful lot. Are you practicing for a tournament or something? No. And with that, he pulls the plunger and sends a new ball into play. <laughs> okay, whatever. I guess I better play on my own. This is fun! Yay! Ah, <sighs> while I was doing all this pinball, I shouldn't get very stressed out, I guess. After breakfast, I sit down to figure out what to write to my parents. I could tell them about the strange professors here, but I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. I can tell them about initiation, I suppose. I'm sure they'll be proud of me for refusing to take part in a bullying ritual. Heck yeah. I guess I should tell them about my bedroom and the food here. Things like that so that they don't worry about me. They'll want to know that I get enough sleep and I remember to brush my teeth. And my roommates, I should write about them. We've been so busy, we don't know each other all that well yet, but they're both good people. As for magic, well, I've learned a few things, but I haven't really done proper magic yet. Just classroom exercises. So I'll wait a while before I tell them much about that. Mail doesn't go out on Sunday, so I fold my letter up and stick it in an envelope, but I don't seal it yet. I can get a stamp from the on-campus post office tomorrow. Diary. Escaping initiation. <laughs> yes. The new students are supposed to go through an initiation process, being slaves to the seniors while they get yelled at and pushed around. I didn't want to do it again, so I walked out. Demon banished. Virginia was annoyed about me walking out of initiation because her brother's in charge of it. But when she found out Damien was my senior, she thought it was funny. Apparently she doesn't like him much, and I can't blame her. She says after I've embarrassed him in public like this, I'll probably never hear from him again is exactly what I wanted to hear. All the freshmen and seniors went off somewhere today without me. Something to do with initiation, but I don't know what. All I know is I got smarter. Hey, Big Steve! Our first entry of him in our diary. Big Steve is a really obsessive pinball player. I'm not sure why. People in Toad Hall are generally kind of weird, so maybe this is just his weird thing. <laughs> What's wrong with pinball? And letters home. I wrote a letter to my parents, but I haven't had a chance to mail it yet. Okay, so far we're on track with our checklist. Phew, I was scared there last weekend. Thought I'd mess something up, but nope. Nope, we're on track. Good. Good, good. 